Right, our Dave Price picks a vacation spot that comes with dogs and sleds. It's this week's edition of Extreme Vacations. Uh-huh, Dave. Dave. All right, that's right. You usually want to put the dogs in the pound, but in this week's Extreme Vacation, you actually need several pounds of dog. Now, would you enjoy mushing on vacation? I did. Here's a look. If you're looking for Lassie, you've got the wrong address. This is what happens when your vacation goes to the dogs, intentionally. Something tells me we're not on the LIE. Nope. This place gives new meaning to the term North Shore. It's 33 degrees, the snow is knee deep, and we're in Newfoundland, Canada. <laughs> we're going dog sledding. Meet Alex Irwin of Onward Tours, our guide and social director of sorts. No Santa, no reindeer, and the dogs you use don't just appear, you go and get them. I know, they're just, they're just happy to see me. Okay, lift them right up. How much is that Hold on, hold on. Kiss me, Swoochie. Just two and a half hours from our remote starting point was our more remote launching point. So this is the gang line. The whole thing this is the, the snow hook. That's the snow hook. That's the snow hook line. And this is your brake. So what we had to do now is we had to make sure that you've got all the dog sending commands down. Like, please, I'm begging you? <laughs> That's a good one. The basic one to get him to go is hike. Sorry? So I'd say that uh, when we're at takeoff, when the dogs are finally on the gang line, and they're baying, and they're howling, and they're digging holes in the snow, and you're standing on the runners, and you've got your foot on the brake, and you're trying to get that snow hook out, you're going to ask yourself, what the hell am I doing here? OK, life's a little different up north. Talk about an adrenaline rush. These dogs go between 6 and 18 miles per hour and can sustain those speeds for about 26 miles. They only stop because you need to. This beats a cab ride down 6th Avenue. But everyone enjoys a little downtime together. Whoa, whoa. And they called it puppy love. Nice to have a little break out here in, in the wilderness. What does this give you that those planned vacations don't? Spontaneity, excitement. You're going to taste, touch, feel what you're doing. It's a real adventure. It's not cyber space. It's not virtual. It's the real thing. If anyone takes a look at these dogs and says, my gosh, they're in harnesses and straps, and they're pulling those heavy people, these dogs love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they definitely love it. Uh, the problem's not getting them to go. It's getting them to stop. After a full day of mushing, what better way to cap off your extreme experience than to sit down with a warm bowl of moose stew and some small salted fish? Extreme vacationing, Canada style. It is a ball. Now, the most expensive part of a vacation like this is actually the airfare getting there. You can do this for $50 to several hundred dollars. Some of the best sledding around is in Canada, where we went with Onward Adventures of Deer Lake. Alaska and the Rockies also have terrific mushing. And as always, do your research before booking. One good source, Travel and Leisure magazine. And you can reach Onward Tours, by the way, at onwardtours at nf.simpatico.ca. I survive yet another one. Next week, we go to a working ranch. Very interesting. You, you, you were yelling, hike, hike. In, yeah. in, the, in the movies, they go, mush, mush. And, and you just got it. In the movies, you say mush. That is not reality. That's Hollywood. In the, uh, in the, in the uh, wilderness, it's hike, ha, and g. And that's what the dogs understand, not, hey, uh, hang a louie. But, <laughs> but they call it going mushing. That's right. All right, Nick's uh, I don't now here in the sweltering heat while you're yeah. up north. Hey, ooh, I tell you what, <laughs> and I just figured out how the boss is going to make you and I go to work during the snowstorms <laughs> next year. Right. No <laughs> excuse now. Dave. Show